Good morning. Welcome to Yoga Buzz Live. My name is Nikki, and we have the fabulous Felicia doing chair care for you today. So we normally are at the Gateway Arch Visitor Center, but today we're coming at you live. You can be at home, you can be in your office, you can be wherever you want to meet us on your mat today. Um, on behalf of Yoga Buzz, uh, we want to thank uh, the wonderful One Life Fitness in downtown uh, St. Louis Ballpark Village for letting us use their Mind Body Studio with a beautiful view of the sun will be rising. And um, just a little bit of self-care this morning. So, Brad, please take care of yourself. It is a very stressful time right now. A lot of things going on. It's okay to not feel okay. It's okay to want to um, stay home. It's okay to want to stay away from people a little bit. Whatever you're feeling is okay. Um, and that's part of why we're bringing you these live classes so that you can still take care of yourself. You can still get your yoga but you don't have to go out and about and feel uncomfortable if, if you're not comfortable. So we are gonna get started today in a nice seat. And I have my blocks here, so if you have blocks, you can grab some, if not, you can use a rolled up towel, you can use a water bottle, anything that can help you out. Um, we will get started in a nice tall seat. You can close your eyes or soften your gaze. And just start to focus in on your breath here. As you inhale, feel that breath fill your throat, expanding your lungs, expanding your belly. And as you exhale, start to let go. Start to release and relax, not just your muscles, but start to let go of any thoughts, any stress, anything that you're holding on to. Just let it float away. Take this little slice of time just for you to rest, relax, and reset. Two more rounds of breath here. One more big inhale, fill your belly. Open mouth, release. On your next inhale, reach your fingers up to the sky. Exhale, take a nice twist to the right side. Let your hands float down wherever it's comfortable. As you inhale, grow a little bit taller. Exhale, twist a little deeper. Two more rounds of breath here, just warming up our spine and our body. One more breath. Next, inhale, come back to center, reach up for the sky. Exhale, twist over to the left side. And finding that nice tall seat. Inhale to lengthen up. Exhale to twist a little bit deeper. Two more breaths here. Next inhale, come back to center, reach for the sky. Exhale, lean over to the right side. You can let your hand float down to the ground or block. Reach with your left fingers and press into your left hip, just lengthening out the side of your body. Imagine creating space down through your rib cage, your armpit, out through your fingers. And on your next inhale, come back up to center. Exhale over to the left side, reaching with the right fingers, pushing into the right hip. One more breath here. And come on back up to center. We're going to find our way into tabletop, so maybe swing your legs around or roll forward. 
Hands come under your shoulders, knees under your hips, spine is long. So take a breath here to really root down into your knuckles and the tops of your feet. Imagine a line from the back of your head to the tip of your tailbone. On your next inhale, let your belly drop, head and hips rise. Exhale, press down into the earth, arch your back up towards the sky. Good. Move here with your breath at your pace. And it may be different than my breath, and that's okay. Start to connect your breath with the movement of your body. And feel free to take any extra moves if you like to sit your hips back, or if you like to sway your hips side to side. Anything that feels good today. We're going to take one more round of breath. And all meet in a nice neutral spine in that tabletop position. Bring your big toes together. Knees can come in close or wide. Sit your hips back. Reach your arms forward, child's pose. Take two rounds of breath here. And feel free to bend your elbows. Maybe place one hand on top of the other. Rest your forehead if that's comfortable. One more breath. Good. Rise back up into your tabletop. Finding that nice long spine again. Press down into your left hand and your right leg. Reach your right arm forward, left leg back. You can have your toe on the ground or you can float that leg. It's whatever's comfortable. On your next exhale, come back into tabletop and switch sides. Left arm, right leg, reach out. Exhale back to tabletop. One more time each side. Inhale to really lengthen everything out. Exhale back to tabletop. Left arm, right leg. And bring it back in. Now this time take your right leg back behind you. Sweep it over to the left side. Maybe glance over your shoulder at your foot and take a couple breaths here, pressing down into your knuckles, pushing through your heel. One more breath. And on your inhale, bring your leg back to center, and then bring your knee to your elbow. Sweep that leg back and over to the left, maybe glance over. And then sweep that leg all the way through knee to elbow. One more time, bring it around. And bring that knee to elbow. Then lengthen the right leg straight back behind you and knee comes under hip for tabletop. Left leg reaches back and sweep it over to the right side. Take a few breaths here, pressing into your knuckles. Through your heel, maybe looking over your shoulder. And know that I'm here to guide you through class, but this is your class. So please listen to your body. Take a rest if you need it. Take a modification. Grab a drink. Maybe just sit and watch if that's what you prefer today. Bring that leg through center and all the way around knee to elbow. Sweep it back and over to the side. Good, a couple more just like that. Maybe if you're at home, your dog or your cat is doing some yoga with you as well. I know when I do yoga at home, my cats always like to join me. It makes it quite a fun challenge. And one more time, let's sweep it over. Bring that knee to your elbow. Lengthen your leg back behind you. Find your way back at the tabletop. Then sit your hips back, coming into that child's pose. Knees can be close or nice and wide. One breath here. And rise back up into tabletop. Reach your right leg back behind you. Take that foot outside of your right hand. Maybe tuck your left toe and scoot your knee back. So feel free to put a little cushion under your knee, roll up your mat, if this is uncomfortable for you. 
And you can take your blocks underneath your hands if you'd like or under your elbows. And we're just going to take a couple breaths here. Maybe you want to tuck that right left toe and float your knee as well if you'd like a little challenge today, a little fire. One more nice breath here. Let that knee come down if it's lifted. And then rise up into a lunge. So fingers reach up to the sky. Your knee is in line with your toes, your shoulders relaxed. Fingers stay nice and energized. So maybe pull back a little on that right hip. Press into your left foot and sweep your fingers down and back. Inhale to rise up, reach for the sky. Let's do that one more time. Press into that right foot to rise. Good. This time, sweep forward. Bring just your left hand to the ground. Right hand comes to your hip or the sky for a nice twist. And again, you can tuck that toe and float your knee if that feels good. You can take your hand to your hip or around your back. Might feel a little bit better if you're having some shoulder issues. Lower your knee if it's lifted. Bring your hand inside of your foot. Step back to that tabletop. Reach your left leg back behind you. Take it to the outside of your left hand. Tuck that right toe, scoot your knee back a little. Find your lunge on the side, knowing it might look and feel different than the other side. Your knee and toe are still in line with each other. Maybe you take your blocks under your hands or under your elbows. Maybe you float that back knee. If your knee is lifted, go ahead and lower it down to the ground. Root down into your left foot to rise up into a lunge. Good. Take a breath here to set up. Relax the shoulders. Relax your jaw. Maybe turn up the corners of your mouth a little bit. Fingers are nice and long. As you exhale, sweep your fingers down and back. Inhale, root down into that left foot to rise. Good. One more time. Sweep those fingers down and back. Lengthen through the crown of the head. Inhale to rise. This time, hinge forward. Bring your right hand to the ground or block. Left hand to your hip or the sky or your lower back. Maybe float that right knee. Take a couple breaths here. Look at that beautiful sun rising. And as you exhale, bring your right hand in, or left hand inside of your left foot. Lower your knee. Come back to tabletop. Well, guys, we made it about 15 minutes before I mixed up my right and my left. So it should be a fun class. We're going to come down to our elbows. Lengthen your legs back behind you. I'm just going to move my blocks a little out of the way here. Elbows are under your shoulders. Press into the tops of your legs and your toes. Lengthen through the crown of your head and pull your elbows a little bit towards your rib cage. Sphinx pose. Relax your shoulders. Relax your jaw. Maybe twist your head a little side to side. Get a little movement in your neck. Good. Come back to center and relax a little bit. Let's go one more time. Pull back with the elbows, lengthen through the crown of the head. Imagine your shoulder blades sliding down your back. Press into the tops of your toes. And gently relax. I'm going to bring your knees under your hips, keeping your elbows under your shoulders. Tuck your toes and lift your knees. Start to push your hips up and back, dolphin pose. So press into your elbows, pushing yourself a little bit away from the mat, trying to push your chest towards your thighs a bit. Your knees can stay nice and soft here. And as you exhale, let them float down to the ground. Let's go one more time. Press down into your knuckles, press into your elbows, float your knees and press your hips up and back. Shoulder blades slide up your back. Jaw is relaxed. Neck is relaxed. Exhale, let your knees come down. 
Bring your hands under your shoulders. Rise back up into your tabletop. So everyone's down dog is a little bit different. If you need to walk your hands forward here, go ahead. Root down into your knuckles, tuck your toes. Press your hips up and back, down dog. Feel free to keep a little bend to your knees if that feels good. Maybe pedal it out or take any movements that feel good. Sometimes I like to come up to the balls of my feet, bend my knees to stretch out my feet a bit, lengthen up and come back down. Grounded breath here. And then find some stillness to your dog. Take a full breath, rooting down into your knuckles. Shoulder blades slide up your back. Knees can stay soft. Relax your neck and your jaw. As you exhale, step your feet forward a little bit wider than your hips. Bend your knees a little bit and you can grab your elbows and let your hands hang down. Grab down. So you can stay here, you can sway side to side. Nod your head yes or no. Take a few breaths. Imagine that your head is really heavy like a bully ball. And it's pulling down on your spine. It's creating space, lengthening everything out. Maybe even making you a little bit taller. I like to imagine that because we weigh I can get a little taller. I don't mind. <laughs> As you exhale, release your hands. Roll up nice and slow. Stack the vertebrae one on top of each other. Let your head be the last thing to come up. Shrug your shoulders back a few times. Open up the chest. Let's take a big breath in, bring the heels in together. Take a big breath in, reach for the sky. Palms together, exhale, bring them down to your heart. Inhale to reach up. We're going to take a little twist to the right side. Release your hands, arms can come wide or elbows bent. Inhale to reach back up to center. Exhale, twist it to the left. Good. Bring it back up to center. Bring your hands together. Lace your palm, fingers and leave just your pointers sticking up. Lengthen up through the spine, relax the shoulders, and lean over to the right side, pushing into your left hip. Push into the outer edge of your left foot. One more inhale to lengthen. One more exhale. Inhale back up through center. Exhale, lean over to the left side. Same thing here, push into your hip, the outer edge of your foot. Take a couple breaths here, lengthening everything out. And come on back through center. Exhale, release your fingers, soften your knees and fold forward. Halfway lift, come to a nice flat back. Your fingers can come to your shins so your thighs are blocked and fold. Inhale to rise all the way up, reach for the sky. Palms come together, exhale down to your heart. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to fold. Halfway lift, nice flat back. And fold. Plant your hand, step your right foot back into a lunge and lower that knee. If you have blocks, you can grab them here if you'd like and bring the hands under your shoulders. So find that nice little lunge, pull back a little on the left hip, spine is long, jaw is relaxed, corners of the mouth turn up because we always have a good time in yoga. Fingers reach up to the sky. Lengthen through the spine on your inhale. Exhale, we're gonna take a little back bend. So just glance up at the ceiling, maybe bend your elbows into cactus. If you'd like, you can take it a little bit deeper. Inhale, come back up to center. Good. Exhale, sweep those fingers down and back like we did before, like you're about to take flight. Root down into your left foot to rise up. Good. Exhale, take a twist to the left side, 
so you can bend your elbows or take your arms long and come back to center. Let's go one more time. Take that little back bend. Just look up at the ceiling and come back to center. Sweep the fingers down and back. Root down into that left foot to rise. Take a nice twist to the left side, bending the elbows or arms long. Come on back to center. Good. Exhale. Take your hands down to your blocks if you have them or to your hips. And you're going to lengthen that left leg, flexing your foot. So this might be really uncomfortable for you. You can bring your blocks closer or hands to your hips. You can bend your knee a little bit if that feels good. Try and keep your foot flexed, pull back on that left hip. Take one more breath here. And then you're gonna come back into that lunge. If you have your blocks, you can set them to the side. Plant your hands, tuck your back toe, step back to down dog. On your next exhale, step or hop your feet forward and roll up nice and slow. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, hands down to your heart. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale to fold forward. Halfway lift, nice flat back. And fold. This time, step your left foot back into that lunge, lower your knee, maybe grab those blocks, come up, find that low lunge on the side. Pull back on the right hip, relax your shoulders and your jaw, fingers reach for the sky. Take a big breath here, lengthen up through the spine. Exhale, take a little back bend, it's whatever degree you'd like here. If you're feeling really good, maybe take it deeper. Inhale, come back up. Good. Exhale, sweep those fingers down and back. Root down into your right foot to rise back up. And take a nice twist to the right side. Arms can be wide or elbows bent. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, take that little back bend. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, to sweep it back. Root down into the right foot to rise. And take a twist to the right again. Elbows bent or arms long. Come back to center. Exhale, let your hands come down maybe to the block or to your hips. And you're going to lengthen that right leg, flexing your foot. So again, find that nice, good stretch here. Pull back on your hip, maybe soften your knee. If you'd like a deeper stretch, you can walk it forward a bit. Take a couple breaths here with a nice long spine. One more breath. Good. Bring your hands back and come back into that lunge. Set the blocks to the side. <clears throat> Excuse me, please. Tuck your toe, press back to that down dog. Step or hop your feet forward. And as you inhale, roll up nice and slow. Reach for the sky. Palms come together. Exhale down to your heart. Good. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to fold forward. Halfway lift to that nice flat back. Exhale to fold. Step back with the right foot and lower that knee. Plant your right hand. Left hand comes to your hip in a massage or twist. And again, if you want to float that back knee, you can. If it's lifted, lower your knee. Sweep your left hand down and then rise back up. And we're going to move with our breath here. Fold forward, plant the right hand. Sweep the left fingers up and maybe float your knee. And then sweep your fingers down and rise back up. Let's go 
go one more time. Sweep it down. Maybe tuck your toe. Left fingers come up. Sweep those fingers down. And then come back up to that lunge. Good. Fold forward. Plant your hands. Step back to tabletop. Tuck your toes. Press your hips up and back down dog. Step your feet forward. Halfway lift. And lower. Plant your hands. And then this time step the right foot back to that lunge. Oh, we did the right foot, didn't we? Left. We did the left. Yeah. Guys, see what happens when I'm teaching here. Left foot steps forward. Other foot steps forward. Plant your hands, sweep your fingers up to the sky, take that lunge. So if you've ever been in one of my classes before, sometimes my left and my right challenge me. So this happens quite a bit in class. Good, lower your knee if it's lifted, sweep your fingers down and rise up. Welcome to the world of me. Fold forward, plant that hand, sweep your fingers up, maybe float your knee. Sweep your fingers down and rise back up. Let's go one more time. Fold forward. Maybe float that knee. And then come back down. Rise up into your lunge. Fold forward. Plant your hands. Step back to tabletop. Tuck your toes. Press your hips up and back. Step your feet forward. And roll up. Take a big breath in. Reach for the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. We're going to do a couple standing balances before we pull it down and stretch it out. So we'll start. I like to start by rooting down into all four corners of the right foot. The big toe, little toe, inside, outside of the foot. Open up your left knee and your hip. So this is tree pose. Nice little kickstand to help you here with your balance. If you'd like more of a challenge, you can bring that foot up to your calf. So for me, this is a great spot to be. My hips are nice and even. I can press my foot comfortably into my leg and my right leg into my foot. Stay here or maybe grow your tree, bringing some branches. Take about two breaths here. No, you might wobble. You might sway like the trees outside, and that's okay. You might need to step out of it, and that's okay, too. Our balance is not always rock steady. That's because we're humans. Let's bring our hands down to our heart. Turn your knee in, set that foot down, and let's try the other side. We're down into all four corners of that left foot. Open up the right knee and the right hip. Lengthen up through the spine, and again, you can stay right here, or you can start to bring that leg up, bringing the hips nice and square. Press your right foot into your left leg, left leg into your right foot. Maybe try some different arms, some cactus arms, or lace the fingers and flip the palms. Focus and breathe. And again, if you wobble, if you sway, if you have to step out of it, that's okay. Take about one more breath, really rooting down into all four corners of that foot. Bring your hands down to your heart. Turn in your knees, set that foot down, maybe give them a little shake out. Nice, so we're gonna do chair pose. I know everyone loves chairs so much. Probably like, yeah, it's no chair today. <laughs> no, we got chair. So I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see feet are um, almost touching, maybe big toes actually touch. You take your hands to your heart. Weight comes towards your hips. And sit back like you're about to sit in a chair. So you don't have to come low for chair pose. This is a great spot to be, but it's very easy for that tailbone to tilt up. So think of pulling in those lower abs to bring the tailbone in line with the rest of the spine. Relax your shoulders and your jaw. Take about one more breath here. Inhale, rise up. Now we're going to get a little tricky. You can stay with that chair. If you want to challenge, lift your heels. Come to the balls of your feet. Maybe wobble a bit. And 
and then sit your hips back and set to your pose. So pulling in those lower abs for a long spine, pressing the palms into each other, shoulder blades slide down your back. One more breath. And gently rise up, lower the heels, give them a shake up. Let's take a big breath in. Exhale to fold forward. Then you need to bring your hands down to the ground, bend your knees, come to a nice seat. I'm just going to stretch it out here. Start to bring it down a bit. Legs are long. Knees can be bent. Keep your feet nice and flat. So reach up for the sky. Exhale, fold forward. When you get to that point where you can't fold anymore, let your hands come down maybe to your legs or the ground. And just breathe. Relax your jaw. Good. So this is the time when we're sitting here, we're breathing, we're focusing on our breath. You might have thoughts popping in your head, and that's okay. That's pretty normal. We can't shut our brains off totally. But just let those thoughts float away like clouds. Just let them go away. Bringing your focus back to you and your mat. On your next inhale, gently rise up. And we're going to come into butterfly. So bring the bottoms of your feet together, knees up. And you can have just the outer edges of your feet touching. That's totally fine. Lengthen up through the spine and fold forward. You may not come very far, and that's okay. Let your neck and your jaw relax here. Focus and breathe. Take a few nice breaths here, and while we're sitting here relaxing, I just want to tell you guys, um, I'm so happy that you guys decided to join me this morning. It's a wonderful way to practice self-care yoga. It is an excellent way. Also, making sure that you're eating healthy, getting your vitamins and minerals, lots of water, a good restful sleep, and just taking care of your mind and your body and your soul, especially in times of stress. Rise up. That's my little PSA today. Bring your knees up, plant your feet, and make sure you're about midway on your mat. And if you have a black or pillow or rolled up towel, you can bring that with you. You're gonna roll down nice and slow. If you have something to cushion you, lift your hips and put it underneath your lower back. If you don't, you can just come into a regular bridge or you can just pause here. So you can stay right here, supported bridge. Legs can come up for waterfall. Or one I like is to take my legs long, letting my toes, my hips, and my knees open up. Take a few breaths here. Just let everything start to relax and rest. This is also a really great pose to do uh, before bedtime. And maybe put your legs up the wall. It's nice and relaxing, very comfortable little cushion under your hips. And again, if you have a pet at home, they might think that that's their time to come lay on you or play with you. So bend your knees, bring your feet back to the mat. Gently lift your hips, slide that block out, set it to the side. Lift your right leg, bring your ankle in front of your thigh, come into a nice figure four, keeping that foot flat. You can stay here, or you can bring your legs in towards your belly, keeping both feet flexing your knee and your hip open. Relax your shoulders, relax your jaw. Arms can be out to the side if that's comfortable. Take two rounds of breath here. One more big breath. And gently bring your foot to the mat if it's lifted. Switch sides, lift that right leg, set your foot down. Left leg lifts, ankle comes in front of your thigh. Find that figure four on this side. And maybe bring those legs in towards your belly. We're going to take a couple rounds of breath here, just really starting to relax. Notice how that mat or your towel or whatever you're laying on today feels against your
your back, gently pressing into it. And then let that foot come down to the mat. Set your left foot down on the mat and you're going to heel toe your feet about mat distance. Knees are still bent, arms to the side. As you exhale, let your legs fall over to the right side. Inhale, come back up to center. Exhale over to the left. Inhale, back up to center. Now let's do two more each side. Move with your breath. It may be different than mine, and that's okay. Just start to listen to your body. Tune back into your body and your breath. One more time, each side. On your next inhale, come back to center. Maybe bring your knees towards your belly, keeping your low back on the mat. And rock a little side to side or draw some little circles with your knees. Take a couple breaths here for any final moves that you would like before your resting pose. So if you like to take a bridge or give your legs a hug, or if you're ready, you can find your way into your Shavasana. And that might be legs, long arms by your side. Maybe you like to take a farm angle butterfly and prop your knees up under the side. Maybe you'd like to have a seat and that's totally fine as well. If you are on your back, lift your shoulders slightly, shrug them back and settle back in. Soften your gaze or close your eyes. We're gonna take a couple breaths here to do a full body scan. And just starting at the top of your head, just mentally go through your body like a little wave of energy. Any place that you're holding on to tension, tightness, stress, any negativity that you're feeling, any thoughts that aren't bringing you peacefulness, that aren't keeping you restful, let those go. Just wrap them up in a little bubble and let them float away. Take these next couple minutes for your mind and your body to rest, relax, and reset. Give yourself this little slice of presence and I will guide you back in a couple minutes.
feel free to stay here a little longer if it feels nice. Or you can start to deepen your breath. Wake your body up with some little movement. Maybe wiggle the fingers and toes or roll the head a little side to side. One more breath here. If you're on your back, maybe reach your arms and your legs long. Take a nice big stretch. Even if you're seated, you can take a nice big stretch up. Open mouth, exhale. If you're on your back, gently bring your knees to your chest. Roll over to one side and take a breath. And gently rise up into seated. I like to end class with a full breath together. So wherever you're at in your breath cycle, give a big exhale. <sighs> Inhale through your nose, fill your belly with that breath. Big exhale to let everything go. <sighs> Bring your hands gently to your heart and bow your head. Guys, thank you again so much for joining me this morning. On behalf of Yoga Bud, um, I'd like to thank first, again, One Life Fitness and Ballpark Village for allowing us to use their space. I want to thank Felicia, one of our recent YTT, YTT grads, for coming in and interpreting. And guys, please, please, please take care of yourself. Listen to your body. Rest, relax, reset anytime that you need it. And please feel free to watch any of our videos on Yoga Buzz. We have lots of resources for online videos, meditations on our website and our Facebook page. Ooh, I'm all tongue tied. And please, if you can, donate a bit to Yoga Buzz. They are so thoughtful and generous to not only allow this Facebook Live for you guys, but they are still paying the teachers for our regular events that we would normally be teaching. So we truly appreciate that as teachers. And any donations that you can make help not just that, but our yoga teacher training scholarships and our ability to bring yoga to everyone and make it accessible to everyone. Again, thank you so much. Have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself, friends. Stay healthy.